As if the excitement of embarking on a two-week European concert tour wouldn't suffice, the students from two of Australia's oldest schools couldn't contain themselves once they found out their country's embassies in Rome had requested a special performance. I was like, that's insane, like that's incredible and I'm just so thankful that we have the opportunity, like we're pretty lucky. I was incredibly excited obviously, like uh, we had an information evening and everyone there was just blown away with the opportunities we would be getting on this tour. And so to actually be here, to have it realised after all this months of hard work is quite amazing. These high school musicians from the suburbs of Sydney performed in the chapel at Damas, Australia for around 100 people, including representatives from the Australian embassies to the Holy See in Italy and other special guests. Traditional Australian compositions and Christmas carols were mixed among those of other nations, showcasing the joint band's choir as well as string and wind ensembles. Although both Cranbrook and St. Catharines were founded in the Anglican faith, their music directors took notice of the ongoing collaboration between the Embassy and the Catholic Church. We all agreed to do this concert because we thought it was a fantastic opportunity to uh, build links between what we're doing here in Sydney and also uh, the work that the Australian Embassy to the Holy See is doing uh, here in Italy, in the Vatican. Uh, we always try and build a global perspective into our students' learning. The men saw this concert, and the tour in general, as a chance to enrich these schools' respective missions. We're visiting some of the world's great cities, um, cities where uh, the ancient sits next to the modern, something that we just don't see in Sydney. Uh, so we're hoping that it will inspire them for the future, uh, that it will give them the confidence as well that they can really achieve things in life. The excitement won't end after this or a few other concerts in Rome. The musicians' global perspectives will be further molded during visits to Florence, Venice, Slovenia and Vienna.